Hello, welcome to Ebb and Flow Imagery's YouTube channel. Marnie Lynn here, and today I'm going to be coloring on a picture that I drew in 1995 of Marilyn Monroe. This is my third um, copy of the original Marilyn, which was the first picture that you saw in the video. And the second Marilyn was done in 2012, and I decided that I was going to cover up her mouth and put more lipstick on her so we didn't see her teeth, and I like that picture much better. So today I have redone it, and it looks like this. It's so fun to see how much I have grown as an artist and my use of pencil crayons has greatly improved in the last 30 years. All of my crayon colorings here are set up for what it would look like as an adult coloring. They're not being colored like a professional artist, it's just coloring for fun in my spare time. This video took me an hour and a half to make. I did it over two days. I really am enjoying the time that I'm spending doing the coloring and then the time I spend editing. By watching the videos over and over, I say videos, I mean clips, watching it over and over as I'm editing, I'm seeing what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong and how to improve in my next picture. I think the biggest thing is just doing it. And if there's some flaws, going back in and doing what you can to fix it. And know that this is not what you do. As I have all of a sudden discovered when I was coloring the eyes. So I thought I would just continue on putting color on the paper and come back to the eyes when I wasn't going to mess them up any further. That's the most important thing is getting lots of color onto the paper. It's covering up the white spots and also the way you do the, your strokes gives different effects through the layers. So when I'm coloring her chest, I am putting in the bone structure, the muscles, what it looks like anatomically. That's a hard word to say. This ring is fantastic. Now what I'm doing with the eyes, I like I said, I realized I did them wrong, so I am erasing the blue. And I'm doing a little bit of cleanup on the eyes. I do it over a period of time. I was watching a video on coloring hair. That's why I'm going back and forth and back and forth trying to do what she suggests in her video. And I am not a professional artist. I'm doing this all for fun. And making a YouTube channel. And just getting people aware of ebb and flow imagery on Etsy. This will be a digital print. It'll be available on Etsy. And each layer are different colors, and then I'll go back to an original color. And you can see the shadowing under her chin. I turn it upside down because that gives me a different perspective and I can find faults and what I need to fix, what I need to, just anything I need to do. She also said to use some strokes with your eraser to make some flyaway hairs, but I'm going to have to invest in a pencil eraser. 
I haven't had one of them for many, many years. I've watched a lot of RuPaul's Drag Race and lots of the Art Sherpa on YouTube. And I'm using my skills as an acrylic artist and doing the layers and layers of the different colors and but I'm not going to put as much energy into the background as I did with tulips, hummingbird, or the repti rep reptoid eye. This is just a quick color from a coloring book just to see what it'll look like. And I don't do the full piece that I want to do all at once. I do layer and layer. This is supposed to be elasticy. So I'm trying to make it look like it's kind of scrunched up or gathered, the fabric. And it could almost be velvet. That was the big rage when I was growing up was velvet. And I made myself a black velvet dress. Velveteen. Doing the eyes again. I'm going to correct the eyes before I print um, for Etsy. I see some flaws in my drawing. Now we're getting more into the band. This would be like the width of the elastic in the fabric. That's how I color anyways. And we're getting closer. I want to take this opportunity to say thank you for watching the video. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button and hit the bell which is the notification button so you know every time I put up a new video and I do one once a week. Her earring. Rose. I think it's a I think it's copper. Metallic copper and silver. Some final touches. It's just amazing what color or even shades on paper can do and how you can make them look real. Here we are, almost at the end. So again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.